Look at Paycor Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Here's the former UCLA Bruin, Kaimi Fairbairn, to get this one started. And we are underway from Cincinnati. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. short one to Gesicki and just shutting him off there and he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down Burrow gonna get this out to chase the goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He'll swing this out to Moss. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for six yards. And now we've got a third down and three. Coming up here looking for three yards there to pick go, up the go. first. Burrow will throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. now off the bootleg he's gonna have the hook up here to chase so the completion results there in nine yards and they'll have a second and one forthcoming and the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive we always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks how about the protection detail they're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football that one taken in by T. Higgins. And Higgins is going to have a Bengals first down as he'll get the ball down inside the 30. 11 coming. Here we go. First and 10 at the 29 yard line. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. And now a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Here we go. Now it's Burrow. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The defensive end, Daniil Hunter, drops him. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to here the end go, zone. 11, 11, 11, 11. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 13-yard line. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now it's Burrow. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Here we go, here we go. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I., and since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. Here we go. Ah! 
and Burrow going to keep it himself. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Bengals put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. All right. Look at hot, look at hot. Now Stroud. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Five yards, now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here is third and five. Throwing now is Stroud. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for Bengals TD. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Oh, and a nice return, but he takes a big shot at the end of it. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second and eight at the 32-yard line. Here's Stroud. This goes out wide for Mixon. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Stroud. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. 
And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Burrow looking to pass. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here we go. Here we go. 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. Shot. Throwing on second and long. Burrow. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up. A game there of 30 big ones. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On one, ready? When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, here we go, here we keeping go. their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and... Touchdown, Bengals! Chase Brown, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bengals take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Play action. Stroud now. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Only quick, right? And Stroud now to throw. Finding Mixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. 
Nixon is into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Well, this had not been the greatest of first halves to this point. They've been pretty well dominated in all phases of the game, so this was an important drive just to show they can move the football and finish. And now they're on the board here on the touchdown run. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Out to the left. He's got Sample there. And he goes out right around the 39. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here we go, here we go. Stop. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first go. half of play. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Here's Burrow. That's caught inside the 20. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 11, 11. To the air again, Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good return, but he pays the price at the end of it as he's picked up and thrown down. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I established the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Flush to his right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. A uh, short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he's going to be taken down at the 39. Clearly short of the first by a few yards. Stroud now on fourth down. 
And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. Here we go. And the Bengals are going to get it back in terrific field position. Cut. Now Burrow. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive here go, here with their go. offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack uh -huh. mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. looking to throw it'll be Mixon on the out route as the pass is caught short completion just four yards and that's going to bring up second down all defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people but they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal game caught left side here's Dell and he will be brought down at about the six yard line First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Stroud to throw it. They'll roll him out right. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. C.J. Stroud, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard. But now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. turn there gets him across the 30 up to the 33 the Bengals drive about to get going still enjoying the lead here in the gun, third gun. quarter despite gun. their defense giving up that last gun. touchdown now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive and that is not fooling anyone he never had a chance to turn the corner there and they'll go backwards right away I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on go, second and 12. Burrow will throw. Escaping the pressure right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. On third down, he'll drop to throw. They'll run the screen with Moss. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. 
They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not <laughs> one second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? 11 MT, 11 MT. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Cincinnati. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. Mixon with a first down carry. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Logan Wilson that time there to bring him down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks oh, up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. To Mixon on the check down. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Stroud working out of the gun. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Here comes second down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll come up now. This is second and long. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Before that last pass, two interceptions have already been thrown. And this last one tipped in the air, which means everyone on defense is almost fighting each other in order to get to the football to try and make it a third. Once you've thrown a couple, it's almost like a swarm of bees going after the ball. And in this case, they went. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Joe Mixon. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. This is first and 10. Here we go. 11, Thomas. Shot. Now it's Burrow. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They'll come up now on second down. 
Here we go. Here's Burrow. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Here we go, here we go. Stop. Burrow. That's complete to Chase. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Burrow. Throwing middle, and it's complete. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's second down and three. 11, MT, take. They'll go up the middle here with Moss. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Gun, gun. Shot. Shot. Throwing, Burrow. And that's complete to Brown. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Ah, what a time for a lapse defensively. That turns this game right on its ear. And now, forget about going fast. They might want to take the air out a little bit and force the defense to use some timeouts. Here we go, here we go. Shot. Moss is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Second down, goal to go. Here we go. Moss again. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Partner, you've got about 20... payroll but there's 60,000 of them in the stands I don't think any of them like that play and the later we go it's starting to sound like a hundred thousand in here so the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here his first attempt of the night here and it's a big one it's for the win and now with six seconds remaining they're going to burn their final timeout So all eyes now locked on Evan McPherson from the left hash. This for the win. And his kick is indeed good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. And this will wind up way short of the landing zone, so that's going to move the ball all the way up to the 40-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here we go, let's go. Hey! One final shot for C.J. Stroud. The Bengal pressure gets him that time, down he goes. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Bengals as we.